Yeah. There, I got the recording working tonight. I goofed the other night. <laughs> oh. So there we go. Yeah, grants on grants there. I see now. You can't see me though, right? That's all right. That's what you think. As long as you can, as long as you can hear me. We can hear you. We can hear you. Well, I'm going yeah, off my phone, so it's, the video takes a lot of grab, a lot of uh, data, I think. Okay. okay, I'm going to call it to order the uh, Planning Advisory Committee meeting for Wednesday, March 20, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. And before we begin our meeting, I'd like to acknowledge that Stuiak is Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and Osea territory of the Mi'kmaq people. I believe we have a full list of attendees. Is that correct? Yes, we do. You have a, um, a memo from Mr. Matheson before you, so I need an amendment to the agenda item, please. I would move that item be added to our agenda. Moved by Deborah, second by David. Discussion on the motion? Question. Question is recalled. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, I would like to add, I'm sorry, David. Yes, okay. I would like to add an agenda item. Okay. Communication. Communication. Oh, communication. Communication. Better communication. So I'm, I'll, I'll ask the motion again. I'll just ask for we made the two additions. So with both those additions, can I have the motion, please? I'm second. Second by David. Again, discussion on the motion. Like that's why I said. Question to Paul. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Salute. Thank you. Looking for a disclosure of interest on the agenda items. Hearing none, looking for approval of minutes for uh, February 21st, 2024. And there was one uh, change, I guess, and that's been circulated. So everybody should have the uh, proper minutes, I believe. Yes. But it said that I, I turned them off, so that it's open for debate. <laughs> I, I had a couple of other concerns on the minutes. And um, I just feel like we should have the names of the people <clears throat> who made the presentations. Um, uh, from Big River Cafe and also the woman uh, who owns the property next to that, next to the one they're interested in. So I, <clears throat> I took it upon myself to contact Big River and uh, it was Cami Branch who did most of the talking. She just known it though. It's her daughter lives there. No, no, she's the one who did, who was from Big River Cafe. No, no, but the one that lives next door. I know, but, our, and, but and that's true. And our minutes also say that she's the resident and she's not. So mm -hmm. that needs to be. Um, yeah, we, yeah, we can change that. Uh, that needs to be changed. And also, I think instead of saying next door, mm -hmm. we should have the, the number of the property. Yeah. Anyway, so the two ladies, so the one who did the most talking, her name is Cami Branch, K A M I E. M uh, um, B R A N C H, and the other co-owner is um, Rene R E N A E Verboom. What was the last last name? Huh. I'm sorry. What was the last name, Rene? What was the last name? Um, Verboom. V E R B O O M. Okay. And, it, and it's uh, Camille Branch, right? Yes, K A K A M I E. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can make those changes for sure. Okay. I and what know. was the name of the uh, of the uh, lady that spoke? Uh the, the from the um, I think it's right so next door. Yes, I don't know that woman okay. and I didn't know how to find out Heather okay. Sutherland. I would think she yeah. yeah, Heather Sutherland. 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 Yeah. What is it? What okay. is it again? What's your first name? Heather. 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 Okay. Okay. And it's not she who lives next door. It's her daughter who lives next door. Uh, okay. She is the owner. Heather is the owner. Well, Heather, the, the farm there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is the owner. That's the spokesperson for the owner. <laughs> Whether it's okay. technically not. Okay. With those changes. 
Any other motion? I'll we'll move the motion. Motion made by David, a seconder. <laughs> Excuse me, discussion on the motion? Question. Question has been called. All in favor? Uh, uh, Mr. Sackler, can you say it for the record? Because you know, we're trying to do minutes here. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I can leave it to can, Kevin. Will you you try you be able to take the minutes? Because I sometimes do it. Yeah. Do. Okay. Between the two of us. Yeah. Okay. Between the two of us. All right. Good. Yeah. Okay. So the only business I may have on tonight, um, I should say that we have a couple additions, but the, the main addition or I mean have is pyramid rezoning. So I'm gonna start that with Grant. Yeah, and then we'll go forward. And I also printed a proposed uh, a motion. Not that wrong, but Grant, I'll pass it to you, and then we'll get to that point. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, okay. yeah, um, yeah. Well, this uh, I think you've read, read the probably all read the planning report. I won't go over it in word by word, but but you recall we did talk about this uh, next phase of Perry Lake. In terms of a uh, a new uh, actually it was uh, Randy's idea, which I thought was pretty good, a new uh, um, mixed use uh, mixed residential zone, which which allowed a lot of high density. I think that was last October or so. Um, and you know, like like a lot of places are doing that now. You wouldn't believe it. Um, but as time went on and the concerns about the the water system kind of became more evident, um, the staff, not just me, but all the staff, thought that. It'd be better now just do a very straight uh, rezoning to the R2 zone. It's the policies in place for it. Construction will probably start this this spring. Uh, the the, the uh, Perry Lake is anxious to go, and uh, and then and then but then we can work on on uh, he, he he wants a number of of apartment buildings in there, and then we can work on that as the you know as the time goes on. Uh, and he's, he's planning on doing the uh, the three cul-de-sacs uh, that uh, are short cul-de-sacs, but they're all they're all our two uses. So he's planning on starting in that first anyway. So uh, I don't know if anybody has any questions, but this is uh, this is pretty well as straightforward as you can get. It's the policies are there when a when a uh, when a uh, area becomes serviced. It should be it should be redesignated in the future land use service residential. And zone the air too. Is there? A, I'll start here. Well, yeah, yeah, just uh, for something else, I need to add. Uh, in my research, going back, leading up to my memo, came out of some research. I'll go back. PAC already approved this uh, back in April of 2021, and I can't find it ever got on the council agenda. It should have. Do so. So it's in the minutes. Okay. The well, and anyway, we, we we might we might as well not uh, uh, take any chances if we do the motion tonight. It still go before council. The council meetings next uh, next a week from tomorrow. Yeah. So and, so that, and that and then and then we can get going on that one then. So uh, and was the proponents' understanding had already been passed. It's, they knew it had gone through committee the whole. Unfortunately, never went to council to council or public hearing. So. That's why we're trying to get this back on to so we're online with what the expectations were at that point. And the original intent was that this area was to be a residential back in 2009 for some reason. It was not updated on the map to be residential. And this is this is correcting an error. So I was, to be clear on that, this is not something new. Different. My question was, has phase three, or have they got a approved subdivision plan on phase three yet? Yes, they have, yeah. That, it's, on the ver it's, it's, it's a tentative plan on the verge of being approved, but our new development officer would like to see the zoning in place before he actually approves it. Under the MGA, you cannot approve it unless the zoning is done. Okay. The tentative plan, that's the issue is. So they cannot even start road work or anything until the zoning's in place. And then there's one other issue I'm waiting to be confirmed has been resolved, but all the other issues have been resolved to the officer's satisfaction, but he needs to check on one further thing. I was hoping for uh, confirmation today, but I didn't quite get it. 
That's that storm drainage, storm yeah. drainage thing, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It must be getting close. Yeah. Any other uh, questions bring forward? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm going to ask for the motion and get look out of the spelling for proposed. <laughs> that kind of day. <laughs> anyway, I bring out the uh, proposed motion. So, as we do. <laughs> My esteemed colleague, did you just make that motion? <laughs> I'll second it. I, I think we should read it though, so it's right into the. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it's just to be. Do you want me to move it instead? Go ahead. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Rewind here. Fair I still move that this committee recommend that council proceed with an amendment to the generalized future land use map of the MPS to redesignate the next residential phase of Perry Lake Limited to service residential and amendment to the LUB to rezone this area general residential R2. Moved by Susan. A seconder, please. Seconder Denver. Discussion on the motion. Question has been called. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Thank you, council. So this will be going to council next week, and then we'll get, we'll try to get the public hearing scheduled so that it can go for second reading in April. Council. Yeah, I already looked at that. I think we're, we 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 can do it. Yeah. Yeah. In the next meeting, next yes. council meeting. Can you remind me of the date that it was originally passed? Uh, just one second, please. Twenty-one. Okay. I believe it was April. Twenty-one. I was just Thanks. I have that's, an email here. That's fine. That's okay. Curious. I didn't write it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. So there was two bring forwards. One was uh, Mr. Madison memo, and the second was by by the internal communication. So we're we're moving things around. But do you want to? Oh, oh okay. yeah, sure. Yeah, up here. So. Um, when I was in Ottawa, a couple of things occurred to me and uh, the cost of building things. And my son lives in a big subdivision, six floor wooden apartment buildings, plus all kinds of townhouses. Uh, so some thoughts came to mind. Anyway, the long show of the story is uh, I had a, a supper with the seniors uh, three weeks ago on Monday. And where I was sitting, they had a number of questions. Um, one of the questions asked was the taxes on the six story apartment building. Are the taxes for the residential floors uh, going to be at a commercial rate? Okay. Now I said no. Okay. Um, so that raised one kind of easily dealt with. Um, but then there were a couple other things that came out, not of any big deal. But what I was wondering is in the quarterly newsletter that we put out that maybe we can take and put in that say two or three lines to clarify some of these things for people who are senior citizens who don't quite grasp what we're talking about and it doesn't have to just pertain to that particular issue uh, one that occurred to me is i didn't know that uh, if we spend over two hundred fifty thousand dollars, uh, we have to have permission from the province i believe that's correct no we, we have to make application to the province for for yes. which well if we're putting in water okay so for water it's not the province it's you in the water utility if you have capital expenditures more than two hundred fifty thousand, it must be approved by the utility and review board and that is why they ask for rate studies okay to show that you can pay for it <laughs> okay well regardless it's just the point of informing people yeah that it isn't just the town council coming up with an idea to do something and this is what the rate's going to be it really has very little of anything to do with the town council, takes the pressures off the councillors and uh, puts it maybe where it should be, <laughs> who knows. And the last thing that came up uh, was the uh, road Riverside and uh, why is it taking so long to get the work done? And as I pointed out that uh, we, the town, I made an application for a grant, you know, three, four years ago. It takes a lot of time to move the grant sometimes through the province and Unless they wanted to spend seven million dollars and raise the taxes to do it, get away from the plan. So what I'm trying to say is maybe a little more communication ourselves can stop some of the little activity going on in the background and uh, maybe make life easier, not only for the counselors, but maybe even for our staff. It, hasn't so, it already been approved? I mean, hasn't that, that money that, already that, come that, in? Yes, but if, uh, I get the point is not everybody maybe, I, I get questions also a lot of people who sort of decide why we're not doing anything. Yeah, so yeah. That's an yeah. example of, well, you know, where'd the money come from? Right. You know, so $7 million, do we pay for it? 
or do we pay oh. a million? And, but there's other projects like that coming, like mm -hmm. the school, the water, sewage, if we do it. Like, who's paying the bill? Right. And, and how long does it take to get a grant? Right. Uh, um, but, um, I mean, I'm not I'm not saying this about you, but, I mean, there's a, there's a big sign at the top of Riverside Avenue that says $6.2 million has been approved I, I, for that I, money, you know. So, but, you know, we could put it, why don't we put it in? Right, these, all it takes is two or three lines. Yeah, that's it. Well, this is a portion that we're doing now, so, I mean, there's no, I think it's an excellent idea myself. Both plus for us to And then the last question, really, is irrelevant, but the point was, it, how much we're going to have to pay taxes to do all this work that we're talking about? And why has the money been set aside um, to pay for all this work? I didn't have an answer, but I just throw it out there. Um, they were asking questions because when they saw a 25% increase three years' time for the water bill, that really was a, almost cost a stroke for a period. So yeah, it wasn't for me to defend it, but it just. But I think the more communication, and we've talked with this, and uh, yeah. I think if you can get ahead of some uh, not correct information, yeah, excellent idea there. Yeah, so anyway, that's just where that all I came from. Awesome. Go back to Mr. Madison, you sent just a uh, memo. Yeah, I just, I wanted to highlight for the committee, if I was going through searching histories of some of these approvals and questions were being said, well, you've done this, done that, so I had to do a lot of searching through files and minutes. And it became plainly obvious that there is a disconnect on follow through of a lot of items. Uh, and we need to get much better at that. And we have, from a planning perspective, there's a huge amount of work here that needs to be done. And so, we have to, so my plan is, I'm just letting you know, these are the ones I've identified. If you think of other ones that may have been discussed that I didn't catch, please you know, email me, let me know, and I will take it back to our staff group. And we will, we're gonna to try to come up with a plan and saying, here's what we can, think we can do over the next six to 12 months and here's what we think may have to wait uh, just because of the resources we have and some of it is more urgent from an emergency potential perspective. Uh, so, and then we'll do it and we'll try to find, as we're doing it, I want, I'm gonna push people to say, let's not reinvent the wheel by coming up with new language. If someone has a bylaw and they say it works in their municipality, for now, let's put it in place that we can find you it later. Uh, yes, and, and, and the committee has already discussed uh, several of those items, and you're right. It's just a matter, see, see they most of them need some public participation. It's the public participation that's that's kind of hard. To, we finally got one last February, but but uh, that the, the more needs to be done to, to, to pull these things together, for sure, yeah. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff that the committee discusses, a motion is made to so there's no direction to staff. Are we doing something with this or not? Yeah. So I think it's it's clear when the topic comes up, there should be, you know, it's, 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 it is, do you want us to spend time and effort on this policy versus another policy? So that's what we're going to, we're going to try to come part of this and bring back and say, do you agree or disagree? Uh, we can, you know, the committee and council between the two, we will move things up and down and then we'll go off and try to get the work done. So and do a better job of communicating back to you. <laughs> no, I don't think we do. I was going to say, what about windmills? We had discussed them at great length at one point, and I don't know if we ever... Well, you know, that may be back before, earlier than where I was looking. <laughs> there is a section on windmills in the... Uh, is there? Okay. In the land use pilot, yeah. Okay. Already. I don't think anybody's ever used it, but it's there. Okay. I just came to mind that I couldn't remember if we yeah. came to a resolution. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at your list, it's, I just, think it's, just, it's just for the small ones. <laughs> we should be adding these to our meetings because some of these things we've discussed several times. Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah. So some of these items could come up on the next meeting and we can make a decision because we've already discussed it. Yeah, well, that's right. Times. Yeah. You know, like uh, accessory buildings and small option homes, we've discussed this a thousand times. And yeah. We have to make a decision or yeah. Say we're not going to do it, one or the other. Yeah. So, so the actually, th as yeah. far as the I small mean, options homes homes go, I think Stuyak is already treating them as the same as a single family residential. It's just a matter of putting it in into the putting it into the bylaw at some point. 
It's not hard to do. And let's do that. Okay. Hearing that, we've discussed, we, I've heard this several times. We'll discuss it next meeting. For the next meeting, it's not any problem. So, in my mind, a lot of these items, as I say, by the end of June, we're going to have a decision on them. something, timeline. And not keep discussing and putting it off to the next meeting. So yeah. maybe yeah, June that's is right. too soon. But that's right. It would, it would be not, but the, the, the best, most efficient thing to do would be to re repeal and replace the land use bylaw and the municipal planning strategy with new documents, which have all this stuff in it. And I haven't talked to Jason about it very much yet, but since they're coming into our planning world, he'd be a good resource to uh, to to keep communication with. And and as a matter of fact, uh, he could be he could be a lot of help designing our land use bylaw to look like theirs, maybe you know more like theirs, because he's he's administering it now. So that's another another thing to think about. I mean, there's not too much difference. They have a lot of they have a lot more detail in their land use bylaw than we have in ours. That's for sure, which might be a good thing. And, and I thought another item there: development agreements are potential uh, use of site plans. Well, we've discussed that back and forth. Yeah, and we see site plans are, are very expensive. So if we're not going to go that way, then we're going to go use the short development agreements. So. Uh, why can't we make a decision say, okay, we use development agreements on R2, whatever. Yeah. And say, this is what yeah, we're going to do. Yeah, that's, yeah. We, we, we probably have a pretty heavy agenda in April. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I don't mind sitting here for three hours. If oh, well. If I get something to come. <laughs> Actually, I should, I should run. My, my dad is probably getting lower. <laughs> And, and kind of further to this, we have some couple of us have discussed. Could we have an update on our previous motions? Uh, mm -hmm. Old business. Thank you. I didn't quite catch that, but Kevin, oh, we got just, just an update at, at our meeting. What we we made recommendations at the previous meeting. What follow up was done? Oh yes, okay, sure. Did council pass it? Did they? What did they do with it? If we can yeah. have that update. Yeah, good idea. Anything else for tonight? No. Are we going to get an update on, did you vote on that resolution for Big River Cafe? No, no that's coming next. Uh, that's next Saturday. That's Thursday. next Thursday. So yes. That's next Thursday. And it's just the height restriction. We have a Presentation. Oh, okay. No, they can give us a presentation. Council did that. Is that next one too? They they've asked to do a presentation, kind of. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the date for the next meeting is April seventeenth. Yes. The third Wednesday. Third Wednesday. Yes. April seventeenth. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you, Grant. Okay. Thank you. Grant, you be back in the on the April. Yeah, meeting? I should be back in a in a couple of weeks. Or, or okay. earlier than a couple of weeks. Yeah. The same problem, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, it's uh, pretty warm down here. I can imagine. So on that complaint. Six fifty two were adjourned. Thank you, folks. Well, that was only gonna be even having the Yeah. I'll just continue to sit here. Now, Susan? I'll see you in the gallery. <laughs>